Hey folks, I'm back. I know you missed me. <laughs> I know you missed Pandora's Tower, but I'm back. It's JRPG Story of Future Perfect. With me, your humble time captain, Evan, and uh, my Space Corps master, Ryan, still drunk. Still drunk. Guess what? Chicken butt, not hungover. All right. Just maybe drunk. maybe next episode, though. <laughs> maybe. Uh, and also, virtual stowaway, Matthew. <sighs> My new favorite virtual stowaway, Matthew. Wow. Matthew, you're doing a good job. Keep we it up. We have to give Matthew the East test. Yeah, that's the true. One of what the is thing, that? One of the things about East is that we've played it with Clint and Kyle, and both of them wanted to leave after a couple episodes. <laughs> so sometime we'll have to play some East with you and see if you can stand it. The, the well, damn it, is, it's a challenge then. Yeah. The record is two episodes held by Clint. Kyle couldn't make it past <laughs> the first episode. So it's just been you two guys. Hey, guys. Part. Yeah, it has been. All right, well, well, invite me on and we'll see. Hey, guys. I need to find Elena with L. I did. Can, can I there did she it. is. I did it. <laughs> Please leave and then see if it still works. Like I, I, wait, can, wait. Can you just turn yourself completely around and then look at her? Because I just like to think that his head has just completely pivoted around his around his neck. <laughs> that's that's what I want. <laughs> Hello. Is this? Th <laughs> It's basically like Hatsune Miku. I want to do like a shoe motion. I can buy her presents, and if I buy her enough presents, she'll sleep with me. It's the way Japanese games work, right? That's, that's how I, life I works. I tell you Evan. something, Evan. What? I tell you about something. Th I'm, a, I'm in a relationship now. And you do so by buying her presents. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> good. It's good to hear that Um, Evan jokingly guessed the game mechanic. Yep. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This game looks fantastic. You know, it's not <laughs> the worst game fine. I've ever played yeah. so far. It's a little, uh... Look how and give can't... gifts to an answer of... <laughs> Hey, hey, you know, um... Elena, I am literally saving your life. <laughs> you wanna... You wanna stop being so... Give a gift! <laughs> Why don't you fucking do hey, some Hey, you want a fucking bracelet? Why you go in the Pandora's Tower? No, here's the gift I'm gonna give you, Elena. <laughs> your life in the form of this beast flesh. Put ASL when you chat with her. <laughs> uh, do you want, a uh, These strange grains? Petual give love. her your sword. I don't wanna give her... You know, to be fair, that's the proper reaction. Yeah. Being handed some strange grains. Create. <laughs> okay. Create. I Elena don't know how to. You now. How to create? You, you only give her beast flesh and nothing. nothing yeah. Special. Yeah, you're right. Did that just decrease? I think it did. Okay. This is this is insanity. This <laughs> game is insanity. Okay. I'm I'm and kind then, of I'm kind of getting into this now. I'm sorry. Evan, you know this is gonna end in an entire episode just doing this. I know. Give her the dryad berry. <laughs> Oh, I see. So any actual metalwork creation, I have to go the old man. But if I want food cooked, <laughs> <coughs> fuck. Back to the kitchen. Which had a cough quick. button on my mic. All right. Well, it's quite tart and sweet. <sighs> this is a video game. Doesn't doesn't cleansing the palate means it makes you shit? No. No. What? What what are you talking about? It just means that you like you like don't you wash out the mouth. You like Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I thought like it was like you wash you, out the It's like you would uh, want to clench your palate after you you brush your teeth before you drink orange juice. No, I mean in a in a traditional like multi-course Italian dinner, uh yeah. sorbet is served, fruit sorbet in between courses is a palate cleanser. There's some Italian trivia so. for you. Yeah, that makes sense. I, th I thought it was like fiber. No. What? Basically, he's saying the palate. <laughs> he thought palate cleansers were just stuff that made you shit a bunch. That's what he's getting at. Also, what's like, wrong with fiber? Like I thought, like when you had to cleanse, you had to cleanse your palate before you get like the, like, butt doctor thing done when you're an old man. Hmm. hmm. Can't remember what it's called. That that's, is a train of thought. That's insightful. We should have drunk Ryan it's, on more it's, often. It's called proctology. Right? Ryan, can you become an alcoholic? Um, <laughs> I'll see what I can do. 
I meant to type in colon, but I typed in communism to Google. <laughs> We've all been there. Colonoscopy. That's what it's called. Yeah. It's Colonoscopies better. like communism work better in theory than in practice. No I don't have, any, I don't have an issue of colonoscopy. <laughs> What's of all the colonoscopy here on this podcast? I mean... Video series. Video series. Okay. Wait, this is this is a video series? Oh shit, I just saw it. Okay, uh, let's create some stuff. With all the shit that they have, like doctors now, you'd think they wouldn't have to put a scope up your ass to... And yet... <laughs> you'd think. But here we are. I can make nymph S Sticky water. mud! You just grab them from outside, Aaron. Just... <laughs> Look, I don't need to give you any crystal ore for you to make sticky mud. I know how the world works. Palette cleansers result in sticky mud. God damn it. Ugh. I guess Just I'll make this nymph water? I don't know. Are you gonna start saying give, poo poo now, Ryan? Come on. Give, give uh, Elena the nymph water. Okay, should I place it in my bag or in my trunk? Put it in your bag. Alright, I did yeah, it. Yeah, come to think of it, isn't the military still after you? What's their deal? I mean, the army's after me. I don't know if that's, like, a private army. Well, it's probably the, na the nation, because it's run by a corrupt king. Maybe it's an army of one. Named Barack Hussein Obamacare. <laughs> Barack Hussein Obamacare. Specifically, yeah. Wait, do they just not hang out in this room? They only come in when you need stuff. Yeah, I have to knock oh, on that. Hey, Ron's back. We gotta get in. Let's just the say give, they're too busy the doing something water. they don't want us to see. Give, give her the nymph water. Okay, fine. Is this is this what a threesome is? A pot, a uh, an old lady, and a half demon chick. <laughs> yep. All right. Um. Let me get let me get to drawn. How, Chat that bitch up too. How would Leots. you like? I still call bullshit on Leon's. How would you like some nymph water? <laughs> oh, she liked it a lot. Chat, Chat yeah. the bitch up. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could more chat about like your interests. <laughs> this wasn't really. <laughs> I sort of like, know the monster flesh dealy. What do you What do you like to do? Are, are you? Are we like childhood friends or something? Are you into fish? Not the, the band, animal, not the, the band. <laughs> if she was, would that be her? The concert fish experience fish? is really excellent. Yeah. Fet, fet fish, f fetish, fet fish, fish. Yeah. fet fish, her right. fet fish, fish, fish dish, fill fish sticks. All I'm saying, Elena, if you ever need a hookup, we can go drop some e and we'll go to a fish concert. It'll be great. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I like how that's the thing that breaks drunk, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, open trunk. I you know, I I like that. I like the size of that trunk. That's a very logical size trunk Good. because a lot of trunks are pretty small in video games. That trunk is big. And you know what else is normal size? Those doors. Big fan of <laughs> Let's those talk doors. about door size, you guys. <laughs> Let's talk about Fuck you, Clint Prentice. <laughs> so, here's my problem. Doors, <laughs> am I right? You know, I was I was playing through Gone Home, but someone just wasn't clicking, and so and I revisited it, and yeah, it I realized that the, the doors are just a couple inches too wide. Yeah, just... Number seven game of the year. Because doors. That's what did it. <laughs> You would probably would you would you boot me off the podcast if that's actually what did it? Uh, I wouldn't boot lady. you off the podcast. I'd ridicule you mercilessly. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, blame alternate universe uh, you for doing so. So it looks like I can use my chain to like break boxes. Can you use the chain to break that chain? Can like you that use it to break racial barriers? Um, only now time Ryan. will tell. Now Ryan. This isn't that kind of game. This Does the chain this game sit on the back of the bus game. or in the front of the bus and refuse to move? Aaron is in the towers. The round gauge will empty. This represents this... the curse's progress. Restore the gauge by giving Elena flesh from the towers. So I need to like. So there's a roguelike. Yeah. But, well, a, a roguelike except you shouldn't die. 
I... Cuts, then you'll lose. Uh, what? Hold on, wait, stop. Stop. Oh no, these things are just hitting you if they're small legs. Give me the item. I want the item! You garbage man. I'm not saying you like... You're like a garbage man for a living, I'm saying you're men and you're garbage. Alright. Copper coins. Yum. Yeah, now just, why don't you just call them copper pieces and not Liots? Liots. Just a subtle Resident Evil 4 reference. <laughs> it's not subtle if it's a Resident Evil 4 reference. This is really... It's a, it's a reference I got from never having played Resident Evil 4, and then it's not subtle. <laughs> it's, I'll tell you that. I hope this mechanic develops in this action. This actually isn't the extent of the chain mechanic I've heard so much about. Which is basically just a ranged attack. Got strange grains. Oh, I blinded him. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Bind actually. body parts for an edge in battle. Yeah, that's actually alright. Oh, I see. It, so then I can of... zoom in and like... Yeah, it's just like dead space. I don't like fuck him up. Hey, uh, Evan, what'd you think of Dead Space 3? It's, uh, it's a bad video game. <laughs> oh. Well, that's contrary to my opinion, having never played it. I see. It's still a little disorienting, but I'll get used to it. Now give me the give me your items. Later. It's disorienting, have not gotten used to it. I just got some beast flesh. You probably want to, like, stockpile that until you get back. <coughs> that's my guess. Yeah. It probably I'm, I'm, not, I'm not telling you how to play this video game, but <laughs> that's what you should do. It probably won't be a good idea to like run back to her right now because I don't have enough beast flesh. Mm -hmm. And then she'll be like, "Oh, that's it. I wanted more." Yep. I really like that first piece of beast flesh. Oh though. man, I got nymph water. Okay. Just, just call. Just call water. This, well, that's not huh? what it's called, Matthew. I just want a realistic JRPG. Is that too much to ask? Yes. I just want one about the modern military from Japan's perspective. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll pick up this tree tough colon in bloom. Which I feel like that's more of a theoretical idea than actually possible. Okay, yeah, no. I, I got it. Hold X and move L to adjust, <laughs> adjust chain length? You should uh, read that flavor text. Yeah, I keep trying and they won't let me. <laughs> oh, really? Well, okay, I see. Foes about to die will give different items. <laughs> Could I have that? Thank you. Did Ryan leave? I think he did. <laughs> um. Yeah, so breaking news, Ryan isn't here anymore. <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna finish this. Yeah, no, we only have to do 15 more minutes. Yeah. All right. We don't need him. We're better about him. We are. Large bone. Okay, I'm gonna fuck. I'm done. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta wait. Uh, now instead of just simply pulling that lever, you need to move your hands. You need to use the just because you have a chain around doesn't mean you have to use it for everything. Okay? So... You can you can use your other hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm never. I'm becoming far too dependent on this chain. All right. It's like it's like the one ring, but uh, a chain. Basically. It doesn't make you invisible, though. Oh, look, there he's back. Oh. Just when we Yay. said. Yay! <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> uh, I want to recover the chain. This is sort of like just cause. Are you doing this just cause? <laughs> is yeah. that? It's quality craftsmanship. Is that a JRPG? No, that's um, that's an action. You level Air things Air up, Air. and it's from Square Enix, which is no, they, they published it. They didn't develop it. That's Japanese. <laughs> you're a, you're a good man, Ryan McKinley. I, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and a humble to, one. You don't have to tell me. I'm like my biggest fan. My only fan. Yeah. Dry ass bear. Except for the one I have in my room. <laughs> What? I have a fan in my room. The, you mean uh, like a ceiling fan? Yeah. I thought I for thought a minute you were... sleeping girl next to you, and then I was confused because you're Ryan McKinley. But I, 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 was con I thought he was implying he had, like, somebody chained up. 
<laughs> and then just started laughing creepily. Yeah, like <laughs> looking he, over he at him. Over. <laughs> he presses L and he sees her. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do that anymore, by the way. I just tried. That would be great if it just cut to a shot the of the landscape like, to see. Yeah. Elena in her bedroom or something. <laughs> she's she's Ooh. taking off her clothing. This. Located oh, in Japan. <laughs> you have to look through a handkerchief to see. Yeah, that's a Skies of Arcadia joke, Matthew. Oh, at one point in they Skies have magic, of Arcadia. They have magic handkerchiefs in us. Well, no, Arcadia. it's just the sort of like female lead was in our house, uh -huh. and there was a handkerchief up, and we tore down the handkerchief from the outside, and there was a hole that we looked through and saw her like on her bed. She that's got weirded out. As as she should. <laughs> Well, she shouldn't put a handkerchief in her window. All I'm saying is maybe she shouldn't dress so provocatively. I mean, she's basically asking for it. <laughs> yep. That's not an invitation. Alley-oop. That was an alley-oop joke. I set you up, you slammed it down. <laughs> Boom, uh, shaka lock. Man, you gotta stop playing that NBA 2K14. I've been staying up your, your ba very vocabulary. Basketball. <laughs> Chains, that's kind of like basketball, right? You can pick things up of it. I got the warrior. Like your amulet. hands. I'm going to I'm going to equip the warrior amulet. Probably gives you strength for someone, right? This game's dumb. Equip tab. Yeah, I get how to equip things. <laughs> God damn it! The equip zone. <laughs> oh, it's like Tetris. Oh, oh we just found an episode I'm title before that we all love. And Deus Ex Human Revolution. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright. That's a silly way to equip things. <laughs> okay. I don't think you that understand is... how uh, games work, Kevin. They're what? a little silly by nature. Ryan? With uh, with all your new interest in basketball, we should watch basketball. <laughs> you know, well, I do kind of want to watch that movie out of curiosity. Uh, I don't think we should do that. I think we should. I mean, I understand why it would be in your best interest to do that because you both suggested it and enjoy it when I have a bad time, <laughs> but... Hey man, Matt and about. Trey Parker have made the Tony Award-winning musical Book of Mormon, in addition to the, the occasionally great uh, animated series South Park. And they also were involved Who's with basketball. Same? That's true. That's unfortunate, hold down, isn't it? I'll hold down A for a more powerful strike. Of course. Yeah, okay, yeah, I get it. There, powerful strike. I did it. Now go away. What's that thing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to just avoid looking at it at the do moment. Think, do you think Japanese art designers just go like, you know, I don't know how to make weird things anymore, and then they just make fish faces? What's in the garden today? Those 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 sincerely just look like a bunch of fish faces. This is his they're, fish. Their mouths open. This fat fat fish. Uh, Do you have to each eat each head? Ugh! They're coming out of the mouths of the head. I don't like that at all. Have you ever seen that video on YouTube where somebody, like, grills uh, salmon or something? <laughs> Period. And, and a bunch of worms start crawling out of it? No. I'll Sounds like great, though. I'll have to check it out. I have I'll seen like one it. where someone just starts growing salmon, but not one where um, that happens. In the conclusion, whoa, um, wait, which, 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 which is, do you have a health meter? Is that the top bar? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, uh, Elena is alright. Then. Yeah. Elena's only about a quarter beast. <laughs> We can we can we can stand to have her about uh, three quarters speed before we gotta go back. Preferred even. <laughs> Preferred. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to wait for this to rotate again so I can. This must be a great game for speedrunners. I did it. I'm sure someone speedrun Pandora's Tower. Yeah, I'm sure there's a community. There's a community for Sonic 06. Yeah. How'd that go, by the way? It was pretty great. Yeah. It was probably the biggest laugh in all of me watching that, where he basically did a bunch of shit where he explained he 
he fooled the game into thinking something or other, where, like, he exited a mission while he wasn't really in the mission. Mm-hmm. And he just said very dryly that, you know, Sonic 06 is a very fairly designed game, so they're not going to want us to lose any progress, so they're just going to start us a little bit after this uh, last <laughs> checkpoint. And then they wave for the loading screen, and the credits to Sonic 06 started to roll. <laughs> Does that count? Yes. Yeah, it's all... Um, if it's a glitch you can exploit within the game without, like, any outside means, then it's fair game. No, I mean, does that count as a JRPG? Oh, no. Oh, we it's... did realize you were asking that question with uh, no connection. Is Sonic 06 the one where he makes out with a human? Yeah. Yeah. Why? It was because, hot. because they thought the fans would dig it. I, I dug it, and I'm not even a fan. My I'm just doing it for the Sonic beast reality. is how you can uh, run around those giant rings and just stay on the top of them. <laughs> Upside down. Crystal clear water gushes from the fountain. Drinking it is sure to be soothing. Bottle it, and then give it to Elena. Nah. Instead, I'll just feed her this rotten demon flesh. How does yeah. that sound? Funnily enough, it'll cure. Yep. Medical is that? Did that say medical moss? Cause uh... medicinal moss. <laughs> Do I even have to make the joke? So this is Colorado. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. I'll make the medicinal joke. moss. What? <laughs> what? I have a card for that medicinal moss. Yeah. Oh, that moss isn't okay to eat. But that moss, uh, that'll that'll did take you. Did you uh, did you put your ball sack in a microwave to get that card? No. I got the reference. But, uh, Matthew, I've... Matthew gets me. Yeah, in in South Park, uh, there's an episode where they put their ball. Randy puts his balls in the microwave to get medical marijuana, and they grow to the size the size of like those um, bouncy balls, and he just bounces. Hippity hops. Town. Yeah, and he hippity hops around town with his. Giant... Oh yeah, I remember it's, it's that. It's a pretty good visual gag. Not I remember wrong. that. It's uh, in my critical analysis of South Park season fourteen, I really uh, appreciated the. <laughs> Shows me That's, you're releasing that book later this year, right? Yeah, Your the critical, critical analysis of South Park season 14. Yeah, just that one. Is uh, that the title, or is that what it is? No, that is the title. Uh, is it actually the analysis Subtitle, of season 15, though? Because no one else would. Ah. You should you should release the critical analysis of South Park season 14 too, <laughs> which is the analysis of season 16. Huh. I guess I can see that. Yeah, I can see how that would work. I just uh, fifteen. I just you should probably Final do you Fantasy have any beast flesh? Two. Shit. <laughs> do I have any beast flesh? That's a good question, Ryan. I do. Because you should head back to the observatory sometime. I mean, actually, Ryan. Now that you mention it, I'm a, quite an entrepreneur when it comes to <laughs> beast flesh of uh, all kinds. I was sort of hoping I could get to the end of the dungeon. Yeah, I'm just saying you got like two thirds left. Yeah, I know. Dude, Aaron's quick on his feet. I know what Elena's beast status is. Or you could just, wants. Evan, technically, if you let it run out, you get the ending and we don't have to play this game. Damn. <laughs> well, That's here's cold with the Pandora's Tower. <clears throat> Look at that. So, Matthew, not... you're probably uninformed on this. I'm a, wait, hold on. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> of how he just hits his fist on it. And he's like, and eh, no. <laughs> it's not going to work. No, it's not going to um, But uh, JRPG Historia Future Perfect's stated goal sure. is to uh, preserve video of every JRPG for future generations. Okay. So s- sooner or later, we're going to beat all of them. That makes sense. So this is just a matter of time, really. I hope so they stop making should. them, because I might die. Yeah. Luckily, we've uploaded my AI. I'm actually a sentient part of the cloud. Yeah, he's part of the cloud. Evan tried to kill How me. How can part of the cloud get drunk? Now there, to blow we had your meta fiction. We had a whole like lore-based episode of the show where like I thought I killed Ryan, but actually I killed the chef on our spaceship. Chef Boy RD. Chef Boy RD. <laughs> Did you name him that? I mean, that's his name. I mean, oh. that's our chef's name too. Um. <laughs> Wait, you named your new chef Chef Boyardi as well. It's their title. Uh, I. <laughs> their title. Don't 
No. I, you probably need to chain your chain to that chain. <laughs> I wish. I could. In chain chin. I really just want at some point only to say, This curse, it makes me feel like I've been restricted in chains. And then the camera pans up to the sky or some shit. And then the a end. single tear rolls on her cheek. And then Aaron grabs her cheek and is like, Hey, it's alright, I'm grabbing that beast flesh for you. And she's like, Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Then you play some more Pandora's Tower. <laughs> <laughs> then you play some more Pandora's Tower. You probably have to kill that rose. I mean, I thought I did. <laughs> I didn't think that sense would follow it. Occur this episode. You gotta kill that rose, man. Uh, I can't, I mean, to get that chain off that door. <laughs> it went, went downstairs. Follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it downstairs. went downstairs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Look, it's all good. Hey, uh, it's okay. I mean, we're not the one playing the game. Might as well be. <laughs> He's playing. Jeez, antagonistic Ryan is drunk Ryan. That's true. Need to get all of this out of him. Oh, uh, look at that. I get it. I get uh, it. Thank you, camera. That was very helpful. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hey, is this a, is this a, yeah, whatever, roses are evil, and, <laughs> you know, every rose has its thorn, that's the metaphor. Every rose has its thorn. It's a song. I did it. Is it from Frozen? That's my, no. okay. No, no, it's not. I did so, it somehow. You guys. You Ray, you chained that thorn, Rose. Thorn to rose, rose, rose thorn. Every rose has its thorn is the title of a power ballad, song by song oh, my by fish. American <laughs> glam metal band Poison. It was released in October 1988. <sighs> Thank you. Welcome. That's uh, that's that. instructive. I do love the glam metal. That's like your fave, right? No. Okay. It's alright, I don't know. This is dealing damage, right? We can hope. We can only hope. Much like Pan Pandora's Tower. Yep. There's a cure for everything. I just killed... Non, just not in what you think. I killed the rose. Whoa, that's not what happens when I kill a rose. They don't just vanish from this earth. Did you get a kiss from the rose? And guess what? That's the end. <laughs> of the game? <laughs> yeah, we beat it. Again, we could just let it the timer run out whenever we get sick of this game. Um <laughs> It's our that's our out, Evan. I'm certainly not sick of this game. Thanks for joining me, Space Quartermaster Ryan. Whatever. <laughs> and virtual stowaway Matthew. Always a pleasure. Yeah, hopefully yeah, a little more energetic. Too. I'm gonna have to have you on more of these. Yeah. You keep the spirits mean. lively. Spirits. <laughs> Alcohol. Get it? Mm. Uh, time Captain Evan bullshit. signing off JRPG Story of Future Perfect signing off see you in 23 and a half hours Woohoo! Yahoo did you ever play Okami Evan played like 5 hours of it once okay same here it was, it I was, was okay someone never beat it yeah it was a bit bit of a slow burn yeah it's, that's my impression too that's not JRPG I know Cover your ears. You can't hear anything about non-JRPGs, according to Evan. He doesn't want you to know that there are other games out there. Have you ended the episode yet? Here's what Evan doesn't want you to know. I, bum, bum, the bum, the bum, episode bum, is bum. still going. Yeah, I thought so. Evan Tognati and...